Hey guys, now before you go any further into the video, I would just like to say that I do not promote racism in any way whatsoever. Whatever I'll be saying in the next 7 to 8 minutes is completely unbiased and not something that is made up or just me ranting about a particular subtopic. It is after careful observation that I would like to give a new outlook at how we look at racism and how we could potentially stop people from using such insults. By the way, I insist all of you to watch this video to the very end because I hope you and me and all the others watching this video can establish a mutual agreement with respect to this topic. So now that we have got that out of the way, let's begin, shall we? We all know where racism got its origins from, where European countries raided the African continent for centuries of its resources and enslaved its people as well, taking them back to their hometown and using them as slaves. In the year 1803, the Scandinavian countries of Denmark and Norway had declared the abolition of slavery. Whereas on September 22, 1862, Abraham Lincoln issued a preliminary emancipation proclamation and on January 1, 1863, he made it official that slaves within any state or a designated part of a state in rebellion shall be then thenceforward and forever free. This was however short-lived unfortunately as the American president was assassinated two years later on the 14th of April 1865 by John Wilkes Booth at the Ford Theatre at Washington DC. Slavery was a common theme prevailing till the 1960s and 70s until several popular black readers such as Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X, Rosa Parks and many others fought against racism. Despite us being free from slavery in the present era, with slavery being considered as a criminal offence, there are still some people in different pockets of our world where people still racially abuse many black sportsmen and celebrities using, using racial slurs, which we now know as the N-word. While I am also strongly against some deluded and uneducated people racially abusing black people while it is no fault of theirs in any way, the significance of not using the n-words seems to be lesser than the seriousness that needs to be shown since black people call other black people the n-word, which despite it being deemed okay by society, since there is apparently no racial abuse going on here, the fact that some kids just reaching their teens find it cool to use the n-word not knowing that this word has been derogatorily used and used against blacks, they themselves use it and this could become a dangerous habit in the near future. However, coming back to the topic before this, a black person calling another black person the n-word is just downright wrong and stupid, mainly for the reason being that they are using a racial slur casually in conversation like as if everything is normal. And then, due to their influence, if someone else says it, they get cancelled on social media sites and then comment, what's wrong with society? Ah, the irony. Another problem I have particularly with the n-word is how ultra-sensitive people make it look. Now, listen, there is a difference between using the n-word as a derogatory term and using it between your friends for fun and non-offending purposes, or even just to spell it. Now, for example, in this famous video called Sidemen Spelling Bee, involving a group called the Sidemen, the ASI, who is the moderator, and, and he asks his Indian friend Vic, who also goes by his username Vicstar123, to spell the n-word. Now, although this is just a video and YouTube obviously does not allow any racist, racist content on its platform, and that this video is made only for entertainment purposes as we all are well aware of it. Now, tell me how in the world does spelling a word in, be involved in a racist act? Now, I don't think he tries to swear at him by using this word. No, absolutely not. Now, is this word being used in a derogatory sense towards KSI? Absolutely not. On the contrary, it was the latter who asked Vic to spell the n-word and I have absolutely no idea how this word invokes racism in any shape or form. Now, I am no expert in this, but according to my knowledge on the topic, this is clearly very stupid and fake in the way it is trying to use racism. It's just like pseudo-feminism in a way. Now, unless there are people watching this who think they are smarter than me in this topic, then please share your views about this. I have no problem. By the way, 
even others can also share their views if they think they are safe enough not to get caught sending the wrong message it's okay i won't say anything now in recent times it's not just black people who are facing racial abuse by people in this world even asians and indians are facing racial abuse in foreign countries such as us and european countries like the uk and surprisingly germany now despite this issue also being quite an important issue alongside the n word used against black people many people refuse to acknowledge this fact and assume that only the blacks face racial abuse this is a huge misinterpretation by some people and this along with black lives matter should also be an important movement in an attempt to abolish racism once and for all for example we all know this south korean streamer who got racially abused due to her face and her race but unlike me who would have talked back at these people she actually responds very politely to the stupid people and after all this meets another person who apologizes for all the wrong his countrymen did and supported her which sends a smile to all watching this even her obviously knowing that there are still people like this guy who can help us abolish racism once and for all now continuing on the positivity from just a few seconds ago there are many organizations who strive to end racism f- for good but however if all of us cooperate and help abolish these criminal acts a- across the globe we can strive for a better and a non toxic future unlike people on twitter yep you know who i'm talking about man you just got to got to have a look at them once some of them are seriously hopeless in life and all try to be woke like as if anyone is hearing them however this topic is for another day another video because i have quite a lot to say about them so anyways that's it for today i hope you all learned a grain of knowledge from here and if you did so you could like this video and could also subscribe because this definitely isn't going to be the last such video i'm going to post oh no no there is way more to come but anyways take care stay safe and keep on rolling